My name's Martina and I come from Wakefield, which is near the beautiful West Yorkshire countryside. I'm um, a qualified life coach and I'm a member of the ICF. The reasons I became a life coach is that I think that sort of my own experiences and my, this sort of positive, negative, everything I've sort of been through in my life has led me basically to where I am today. Um, and I believe life coaching really helped me you know, by sort of positive thinking, finding goals, all those sort of things. That really helped me. And I just love using the knowledge I've gained and the skills I've gained through my qualifications to help others. I love to see them grow and develop, you know, and it's just lovely if someone rings me and says, you know, I've, I've achieved this and you know, they'll say, through you, and I said, no, I, I, I didn't do it. I provided the opportunity, maybe opened the doors, gave you the skills and knowledge as I gained, but you did it. And that is why I do it. That is what I love about it. I've worked a lot with special needs children, specific needs, um, in a lot of different settings. Um, I'm a trained youth leader, qualified youth leader. I'm, all, I'm also qualified with um, children education specific needs and I think the main thing that sort of got me to life coaching was um, I was lucky enough to um, be a part of a sensory room and um, I sort of had training with you know psychologists and things like that on all the things to do with sensors how your sensors work how they can affect you if you've been in a trauma you know just all these things and um, that unfortunately that closed However, that sort of led me into your emotions, you know, um, your feelings, if you've been through a trauma, or self-esteem, how you build self-esteem, all those kind of things. And um, when I sort of looked at the life coaching criteria for the, for the qualification, I sort of thought, well, I've done that all my life in various different settings. I am a life coach. It, it, it really is what I was born. It, it is what I was born to do. I just and I just love it. I absolutely love doing it. I sort of specialise in emotional coaching and trauma coaching and well-being and self-esteem, and I'm really proud of those because I think so. The things that my life's journey, I've had to sort of deal with all those issues within myself, and I now can pass that on to others on how to, to deal with it. And I'm really proud of that. I think the sort of things I could help with is like post-traumatic stress, um, addictions, uh, building self-esteem, uh, emotional coaching. I, I love doing emotional coaching as well because, it, you know, it's so fascinating how your emotions affect us. And, and often, you know, as we may think that we're angry and actually we're sad and some things like that. So if you can get down to sort of identifying your emotions and understanding why you're reacting in certain ways, it, it, it's, it's just so life-changing, just that one thing. I had a, a client who um, had a lot of relationship problems with a partner and uh, we discussed that and um, through her talking and through me encouraging her to find out you know, sort of what was happening to her feelings and what was happening to his feelings. Um, she then sort of realised that she was expecting far too much and, and when she was sort of... What she sort of was giving, she was expecting that much back and we sort of worked out a little plan and we had a good discussion about it and we did some activities on self-esteem and things like that. And um, she she now sort of... she she In fact, she... You know, she'll say to me, um, I give 30% from the heart. <laughs> That's what she said. I give 30% from the heart now, and I'm happy with that. And, and the relationship's just lifted, but more so her self-esteem has built because she's now relying on herself as well as not, you know, she's sort of not putting her whole life in someone else's hands. She's relying on herself as well. I do what I do because I just believe that everybody's sort of individual, unique, that, you know, um, and we're all entitled to be happy. And sometimes we just don't know how to get there. 
and um, I just I love meeting people from all over you know all walks of life all over the world and getting to know them and it just never sort of ceases to amaze me how how you know what wonderful people there is out there and sometimes it's just a little you know just getting through building confidence or giving helping someone to find the courage to be the self basically and I think that's what I you know if someone's just this is me and I'm proud of me and I just love that.